Hey everybody, Griff's here, and as always, thanks for joining me. Now in this video, I'm gonna show you how you take Corel Video Studio 2022 to a whole new level, a level worthy on taking on the pros. If you're using Corel Video Studio 2022 Ultimate, and you go to the FX filters, you will see the new blue collection, the Elements Stylizer Essential Filters and Titler Pro 5. The thing is, we don't get all the filters. We only get some of the FX filters from New Blue. Here we are at the newbluefx.com and let's have a look at what they actually have to offer. So we got the Elements Essential Filters and Stylizers. And if I just take a quick look through the Elements, I quickly realized there's way more filters than what I have in my Corel Video Studio. In actuality, they're offering 21, but let's see how many there actually are in Corel Video Studio. 14. Corel Video Studio's new blue elements only has 14. And as we go through the others, like stylized essential filters, I quickly discover we have less than what is advertised. How much less? Well, the new blue only gives you 52 in Corel Video Studio, yet the website gives you a 113. That's almost twice as many filters. What about Titler Pro? Well, let's have a look what they have to offer. Well, according to them, they have 700 custom templates. Now, I've gone through Titler Pro extensively, and we're not even close to having 700. In actuality, we don't even have half. So, what's going on? Are they treating us like clowns? Well, the simple answer is obviously no. Video Studio Ultimate 2022 on the day of the release was just short of $100. If you went out and bought the Blue FX straight out of the box, how much would that cost you? Well, $699, just short of $700. So you can see if they were selling Corel Video Studio for 100 US dollars, they couldn't obviously include a $700 plugin. Basically what they did, they came up with a compromise and gave you a light version of the new blue. Well, that can all change. Jolly good. If you go back to Corel Video Studio and go to the welcome page, you'll see here exclusive offer. This is a one-time deal only, new blue, Total FX. They're going to give you 1,500 presets and 177 plugins. That's more than I stated before, and I believe that was 113, but there you go. In actuality, it's 177 for less than $100. And let me tell you, and I will show you, it is worth it. This is worth it just on its own. You get the standalone version of the new blue title of Pro 7. And what is one of the first things that 7 does better than 5? Hundreds and hundreds of more presets. For example, if we go into transitions, just in this part alone, you get way, way more categories. And if you were to click on any of the categories, they come with way more presets. And that is just one of them. If I go into shapes, I get the same thing. Rectangles, I have way more power at my fingertips, all because I upgraded to the full package of the new blue. Before we continue, I'd just like to inform everybody I don't work for a Corel and I don't have any financial interest in new blue. I generally purchase this myself. So everything you see is completely non bias Obviously, I can't go through all the new filters. Uh, take a look here, new blue filters. Before it was 13, now there's 28. But what I can do is just give you a quick glimpse of some of the new filters and then later on, I will go into more detail in future videos. First thing I'm gonna do is look at color fast here. Now, if you're the sort of guy who's not really in tune with the color tab in the new 2022 Corel, the vector scopes and all that is too overwhelming, then color fast was the next best thing. In actuality, it's probably the better, in my opinion. Now they got color fast too, so they give you way more options than before. Let's have a look. Filter, color fast too. What they basically have done is not so much in the controls department, but more in the FX filters, like the presets itself, they've really gone extra and above and beyond. And there's a little bit more controls. This is an absolute beast, but I'm just gonna show you quickly, like um, in my intro, I have it here. And I think I, I just, all I did was add one filter called punch up or punch it up or something like that. Bear with me, I'm trying to get through this as fast. Here we go, punch it up. And it just slightly, you know, just made the video Let's pop out a little bit more and that's what i like about it very little work to do on that so let's go let's go have a look at the next filter elements you get uh i think six more and there's two really cool ones i absolutely love these image mapper and garbage mat garbage mat I, it's it's a perfect fx thing for any video editing we kind of have it already with the mask creator but the garbage mat does it so much better and you can have a ton of fun masking things out and it just brings up the video studio to much more creative and also the image mapper i'll quickly show you what the image mapper does 
it says it in the name. Uh, let's go have a look. Uh, oh, I didn't add it. Let's okay. That's all right. We can do this way. I thought I had everything prepared. <laughs> I need more coffee. Okay, so image mapper, pretty cool. It does what it does. It just maps an image to any style you want. You want it. You want it on an old television set. Fine, you can do that. You want it into an X. Fine, you can do that. And you have all the controls here in the window to manipulate the image to on a wall, on a building, on a car. And if you can track track through the motion tracking on that it's just endless what it can do honestly spotlight is a handy little plugin that allows you to highlight certain features in your video you can also create alpha channels like i've done in here i think this black and white center is kind of neat as well i'm just going to move this slightly over to make my face all black and white i can invert it where everything else is black and white and my color oh sorry my face is in color and I can do cool things like that. And I think it's a really neat little filter. And I'm definitely going to do a tutorial on this because I think this has a lot of potential. All the new blue filters in Stylizer, they're an absolute ton of fun. It will take your creativity to a new level. Previously, we got Zoom Blur. Wow, what, well, that was fun. But now look at all these new ones here. Light Bander, the Impressionist. I wish I had this a few weeks ago. It's Neon Light. I will do a tutorial on this one because it's really cool. But for now, I'm just going to do a quick little look at starlight i came across one i thought that was kind of neat spinning light sorry not starlight <laughs> it's getting late i need more coffee okay let's go let's go all right so we got liquid zoom lens and i thought this was really really cool it can make that dreamscape like you're waking up and thinking about a dream or can going in and out of a dream if you keyframe it just right it gives you that real wiggle uh, feeling to it you can do picture in picture like uh, the other ones blow glass there's so many things you can do with this evil eye i kind of like this one too i wish i could go through more detail move over picture and picture and welcome picture in shape before we had picture and picture a very powerful plugin on its own right but now we have another one called picture in shape and it's basically more of the same and it's always good to have more when it comes to video editing it cuts down workflow it cuts out your time of trying to do something that you can't do for example, if I want to move my entire picture in scale to say the left or lower corner or the right or lower corner, I can simply just click this here and now it's done exactly what I wanted. I've scaled it down and I moved it to the right lower corner. I can make it a floating egg. And here's the cool part. I automatically get the background as an alpha channel. So if it's, I can use it as an overlay and that's the kind of cool thing I like about this. I have an overlay here, even created a shadow. So picture and shape, very similar to picture and picture. But like I said, it just gives you more. No doubt, I think we can have a lot of fun with these new filters.